Bob, there's been a, a lot of push and pressure uh, for a, an investigation uh, to take place as to the circumstances surrounding Bo Bergdahl's, um, you know, when he left the, the outpost five years ago. When do you think that will happen now that we're getting this word that he's going to be arriving back in the U.S. overnight? Well, Pam, I think probably right away, I think uh, the military is going to want to sit him down and ask him why he left post on the occasion that he was taken and the occasions before. I mean, this, this has turned into a political firestorm, whether he was a deserter or he was suffering psychological problems. Um, and I, I think we need to put this to bed. I think it's very unfortunate the way this has turned, and the military and the military alone is going to be able to answer that question. Okay, and, and I'd like to right now... Uh, take a look at what Chuck Hagel, Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel, has to say about this situation. Let's take a listen. You're trying to tell me that he's being held at Landstuhl, Germany because of his medical condition? Congressman, I hope you're not implying anything other than that. The fact I'm just is asking the, the question, Mr. Secretary. I'm going to give won't an answer, answer to it. I, well, I don't like it. the implication of the answer question. Answer it. Answer it. He's being held there because our medical professionals don't believe he's ready until they're, they believe he is ready to take the next have step you, through rehabilitation. Have you ever A fiery exchange there yesterday on the Hill where Chuck Hagel was testifying. Uh, Bob, what do you think this signals now that Bo Bergdahl is being transferred from that hospital in Germany to the U.S.? He'll be arriving, we're learning, at a hospital in San Antonio overnight. Well, I think he's going to be turned over to professionals and it's going to stay that way. I don't, the military is not going to let this become any more politicized than it has. It wants the answers quickly. And I think, again, it's just unfortunate that the political nastiness. I mean, he, he needed to be brought home. We need to get out of that war. And with the less politics we do it, the better for this country, especially when you've got other parts of the Middle East starting to explode.